If you want to increase your income in 2023, an email list might be the way to do that. This is the Homesteading for Beginners podcast, and I'm Mona Weathers, your homesteading mentor and coach. I'm here to encourage you to pursue your homesteading dreams with the right mindset in a way that is healthy for you, your family, and your community. If you desire to establish a solid foundation for your homesteading journey, then you are in the right place. Join me as I share stories from the past 20 years of my own journey as well as practical and actionable steps you can take to start and maintain a healthy homestead. Welcome to episode 14 of the podcast. Thank you for listening. I really appreciate you taking the time to listen to what I have to say. I've gotten some really good feedback lately from uh, people messaging me on Instagram and sharing some of my content and things like that. And I just want to tell you that really uh, warms my heart. And I really do appreciate everybody who has taken time to write a review and give me a five star rating. Um, I really think that uh, this podcast will help a lot of people. And you continuing continuing to share uh, will make that happen as well. So I thank you for that. I'm doing something a little bit different today, which is I'm trying to edit less. It's been really hard to um, start this podcast um, and use my words in a way that makes sense. And sometimes I know they don't always make sense, but hopefully you get what I'm trying to say. Um, So today I'm just going I'm hit record and I'm just going to talk I do much better with this when I am live I just seem to push through but when I'm recording I end up stopping and starting and stopping and starting Um, so we'll see how it goes but today I wanted to share things that would be you know some advice I could give you but the one thing kept coming up and I didn't actually find out this thing that I'm going to share in a minute um, until a few years ago. And I didn't understand the importance of it until a few years ago. And it still has not changed. It's still the same. And you might be surprised by it. Maybe you will not. Here here goes. The one thing I would do differently if I was going to start a business, um, you know, start over 25 years ago, 20 years ago, start my homesteading journey. If one thing I would do differently is I would start an email list. You may be disappointed by that little information that I just gave you that this episode is, yes, it's about email lists and growing an email list to grow your business, whether that is on Homestead, off Homestead, or online. Growing an email list will help you to do that. So as unglamorous as email lists sound, they are really where it's at. And I'm going to help you understand why that is. So one of the things that I see a lot of people doing is they create an Instagram account or a TikTok account, and they try to generate a following there in hopes of one day making an income. This is not everyone. Some people are just there, you know, you may be just there just for entertainment or whatever. Um, And that's completely fine. It's not, there's nothing wrong with how you do your social media. But there are a lot of people think, seeing other people make an uh, an income on uh, social media, and they, you know, want to do that themselves. And so the first thing that happens is they just try to grow uh, their accounts. And the focus becomes on growing the Instagram account or, you know, TikTok account um, in hopes of one day, I guess a lot of people are interested in brand partnerships and brand deals. um, And maybe even the Instagram bonuses or the Facebook bonuses. And those are ways to make to generate an income, that's for sure. Um, But I would like to set you up in a way that makes it your own business that you don't have to answer to a app or a um or you know a glitchy app at that (laughs) or a 
um, or a brand that has their own idea of what they want you to create. And so this, um, this email list idea is, is for your benefit. And I'm going to tell you that there's ways you can do it that is not going to be um, uncomfortable for you. And that actually is going to align with the way you create content. Actually, you can use your, uh, in your email list to help create content for your social media. Um, so this, I hope you're still here listening to this episode because it is really important. And, um, I don't know, maybe you love email and this is not something I need to like say, uh, apologize for. Maybe email is like, you're just, you know, ready for this. Um, but if you are not, let me give you some reasons why you should consider um, creating an email list. And, and, and later, I will help you understand the process of how to create an email list that makes sense for you. So what I found out a couple of years ago is that email is not dead. Um, this is what I actually thought. I think I even said those words to somebody once because somebody else told me that, you know, email's dead. Nobody reads their emails anymore. But the, the truth is that a lot of people are reading them and seeing their emails a lot more than they are seeing their Instagram, uh, your Instagram posts or your TikTok posts. So the numbers that are going around as far as how much people are seeing, how much people how much of your followers are seeing your your posts, your content uh, on social media is between two and five percent of your followers are s- actually seeing your content, and that seems like I I feel like sometimes it's one percent lately, <laughs> maybe or less than a percent lately, um, but that is uh, m- seems really low, and it feels really low and it feels frustrating because you might be trying to generate an income and it your stuff's not getting seen. In contrast, the average open rate of an email is 25 to 35 percent. That's like average, like somewhere between there. And sometimes it's higher and sometimes it's lower, but that's a lot higher than two to five percent. The the idea is that you can really connect a lot faster to people who are on your email list than you can to people on your social media. And you use your social media to um, support your email or whatever long form content. And I'm not going to get into that because this is about homesteading and not about creating content. But whatever long form content, you, the um, Instagram is there to support it. So my my hope is that you uh, understand the the value in the email list and the other part of this is that you can um, really get to know or the 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 people who are reading your emails on your email list can get to know you better and you can create your emails the way you want to create emails one of the things that I was thinking when someone told me this um, about how email is, you know, when I discovered email was actually a good thing to start, um, was they, they threw out the word newsletter. And the word newsletter makes me really like kind of cringe. Like I, I like reading an actual paper newsletter, but reading a email newsletter makes my eyes hurt. <laughs> just thinking about it. I just don't like to do it. And I skim a lot. I'm an email skimmer. Okay. So when I was deciding to, to create my own email list, what I decided to do was just make the emails the way I would read the emails. And I like to skim. I like them short. I like them to the point. I like to, to know information and I like to hear personal stuff, but I don't want it to be something I have to sit there and read. Like, you know, I should print it out and read it. Now, you may be different. You may love long emails. So maybe that is something that you can do well that, um, you know, that your readers would like. But if you're like, but basically what I'm saying is if you don't like long emails, and that is the reason why you wouldn't write an email, don't write long emails, write it for, um, for, 
short and to the point, one of my most read emails that I like to read from someone else is by a uh, business coach, and she writes a daily email with a small, like, few sentence few sentences about a a business tip it's a daily business tip email and it's I open it every day just about and so you see how you can do it however you want okay so you're probably wondering what do you even write an email list (laughs) Um, how do you even get an email list and you know is it really right for me Um, so if you're ask if you're asking yourself those questions uh, you can you can actually ask me those questions directly by messaging me on Instagram. And, but I really do think that it will it's it will benefit a, a lot of people to start their email list and um, it will it will look different for everyone. Uh, if you have a service-based uh, business or if that's what you're looking into, it'll look different for you, like how you create it, how you gather the emails. It'll also um, look different for someone who is, you know, has a product as well. So it, you know, it, I can't just like give a blanket answer for all that. So this is the exciting part of this. I'm not going to just leave you hanging. I'm going to do a challenge to help you start your email list. And this will be, uh, it, it will be, it will require your investment, but um, not a lot of investment. I'll actually be doing this on Instagram uh, because I have a subscription um, offer, like I, I am allowed to take in subscribers. And also I'll be do- using it for that because um, I'm not ready to actually like do a course. <laughs> you know, I don't have the course stuff ready, but I can easily um, create this content in the subscription in Instagram subscriptions and offer that content to you. Um, if you've never heard of Instagram subscriptions, everybody seems to be having them now, but I was trying to figure out what I'd use mine for. And I, I think this would be great. And this will be a challenge that you can, that will start very shortly in the next couple of weeks. And, um, it will, on January 5th or January 15th, depending on the dates and stuff, you will start your email uh, campaign. So you will you will get I will get, I'll walk you through all the steps to start an email list in this um, private uh, subscription on Instagram. So if you're interested in that, um, it the price will be set at $9.99 a month. So that'll be like, you can opt out of Instagram altogether, like I'll opt out of the subscriptions altogether um, after the, the challenge is over. But if you're just interested in it, it'll be November, December, and part of January. I think you will have to spend, like, I think you'll have to re- have the subscription for three months, basically. So, uh, but um, that means it'll be $30 and you'll know how to, you'll be able to start your email list. Um, you'll know you'll have a lead magnet, which a lead magnet is the, the um, thing that people opt into to get on your email list, which if you're, you may be here uh, listening to this because of my homesteading for beginners checklist. And that is my opt in lead magnet. Um, so, this is how I, I am just so firmly believe that this is the way to start um, a business or to um, help your business scale. And it really doesn't matter if your business is, um, you know, in person or online. Um, this could help a lot of different businesses. It might not be able to help you if you have a farm sitting job, but it will help you if you have like customers. So any business where you have customers or clients. If you want to increase your income in 2023, an email list might be the way to do that. So I encourage you to fill out the uh, opt-in. This will be an email opt-in. This will be maybe your first lesson, (laughs) Um, but it is on um, my website, which is healthyhomesteading.com forward slash email list and you'll be able to get um, the you'll be able to get on my list where I will communicate with you about 
how this challenge is going to take place. Right now, it, it can only be on Instagram. So in the future, I will be offering it as a separate course away from Instagram. But if um, so, stay tuned, you know, stay on my email list, and you will be informed of when that'll be a course, um, but it will be after uh, January. So if you're really wanting to start your um, income journey, <laughs> your homestead income journey, um, I would really encourage you to uh, fill out that opt in and get on the list. So to recap, um, email is not dead. Uh, social media is a big bummer. And uh, start your email list. <laughs> um, and you can do this with my challenge that I'm going to call probably something like grow your income in 2023 or, or something, you know, grow an email list. I don't know, I haven't decided what it will be called. Uh, but it'll be a challenge that you can join, you will need to um, you know, join the subscription on my on my uh, Instagram account, which is at farmer underscore Mona. Uh, there won't be any subscriptions there yet. But so that's this is why I need you to get on the email list first so that I can give you all the details. Um, you can just join and stay for a month if you want and not finish the challenge. Um, or you can stay for the entire time. So if you're wanting to start a business or you wanting to scale a business, start an email list. It will be helpful for you and your customers or clients. Okay, so that's it for today's episode. I hope this was helpful to you. And if it wasn't and you know somebody that it would help, please share this episode with your friends. All you have to do is click share and you know you can text it to somebody or whatever and I really do appreciate the nice reviews so if you are able to do that I would really appreciate that as well so I'll be back next week for another episode if you are enjoying this podcast I would really appreciate it if you would take a minute to subscribe or follow by doing this, you will be helping the podcast to be seen by more people. And I do love reading nice reviews too. Don't forget to visit healthyhomesteading.com for more information on how I can serve you. Until next week, I want you to keep dreaming, keep believing, and keep planning for your homesteading success.